Hyper Island happened by accident. Uh, I was working on a CD-ROM project with two filmmakers from Sweden and we talked at the end of the project about what we would like to do next because we enjoyed working with each other and we said wouldn't it be amazing to create a, a, a place where we could teach people about the new skills that were going to be needed for this emerging industry at the merger between telecommunications and television and computers. Um, I didn't think it was going to happen and a few months later one of those guys called me up and said I think I've found the perfect building and maybe some money. Fly over to Sweden. I flew to Sweden and met the prison which we're going to use to start Hyper Island and the rest if you like was history. So we're a school, um, or a series of schools. Uh, they operate at university level and they're around the world. But we're more than that. Uh, we are also helping companies. We take the ideas from the school and we work with companies to help them on their digital transformation. So we work with organizations in helping them develop their learning and development approach. A lot of organizations could be quite traditional in, they, in how they approach their, their training curriculum and we help them reinvent that. And how we do that is with our approach of experience-based learning. So instead of putting people in a classroom for days on end and just getting them to listen to you, we push them through activities. And with that activity, they do a bit of reflection, a bit of discussion, they generalize and then they apply it again. You don't come to Hyper Island for theory, you come for a challenge. So all our learning experiences are centered around solving a challenge and then learning about the topic when doing that. It's about developing a learner's mindset, about developing curiosity and never being satisfied with what you know now. The second thing that we talk about is the collaborative mindset. So we tend to say the smartest person in the room is the room. So being able to trust the collective intelligence and then build collaboration on the back of that. We create teams of self-managing people, of self-leading people, in fact. That is why anybody can be a leader in their own right. We help them build the cognitive flexibility and the technical diversity to bring a group of people together, do the very best they can, and move forward together. And then we get them reflecting both on how they have solved problems and about the changes in themselves. We are mixing up the ideas of learning and making in order to help people develop as people but also to develop their problem solving skills um, so that they can face the big challenges that we face in the world. My name is Katie Burke. I'm with Accenture Interactive and I have been working with Hyper Island for a couple of years now um, on leadership and innovation programs. Great. Hyper Island has worked with Accenture for a few years. And what I appreciate most about our partnership is their boldness. Uh, we learn so much together. We're really true partners and exploring new frontiers together. We have pushed their boundaries, but we have also learned so much from working with them. What I was looking for with Hyper Island is a partnership. What I've found is that I don't have all of the answers when I started the program. And we had this great relationship where they helped me learn by doing and we try things and we're flexible. There's not one right answer for every client. And I know that what I need within Accenture is probably different what another colleague needs in Accenture. And they help us through that process. And to me, that is one of the most amazing attributes of working with them is that I know that it's gonna be for me and for the people that I'm trying to help in my program. It comes down to the relationship that, that I've been able to create and maintain with them. And that type of relationship, that type of trust that I have in a partnership is something I find the most valuable in working with a partner because I know that we're in this together and they're on this journey with me. The 
corporate challenges we see today that lead companies to us is that many businesses struggle to keep up with the change uh, they face in light of technology and societal change. They might struggle to re recruit, retain uh, staff or uh, with their innovation process or how to keep up with the business model or how to be effective with uh, uh, decisions based on data, etc. Another trend is uh, clearly also how to work with uh, teams that are 100% distributed, sometimes across the world, and what that does to innovation and creativity. Hyper Island is more relevant than ever because the world needs the types of people we're educating for. We're educating creative problem solvers, critical thinkers and ambitious change makers. Those are the people that at the moment, looking at the complexity that surrounds us, are vital to make sure that the world is future-proofed. When we look forwards, what's becoming very clear is that uh, there are going to be new jobs created that we could never have dreamed of. and. I feel really proud of being able to be part of that kind of impact. One of our, our metrics in terms of success in Hyper Island is understanding what impact we're having in the world. We talk about uh, change the world as one of our values. It's really hard to define what that actually means on a daily basis, but, but certainly impact and, and, and those individuals and how they impact others is, is certainly a way to do that. And I think for me, what I feel particularly proud about is, is that as we grow in uh, as an organisation, um, we are impacting more and more individuals uh, on that way and, and helping them access new ways of working and ultimately to be happier at work. I'd love to see us in the next five years being like Netflix and being able to reach a much wider audience with entertainment that was also about learning, in which people actively did things rather than just sat and passively watched. Those are the sort of goals, those are the sort of things we're going to try over the next few years. We started that now, it's about experimentation, but it's also about continuing to lead in the educational area. We've got to recognise their humanity, we've got to harness the technologies, the fantastic technologies that are out there, and we've got to make this world a better place.